Hey there, my name is Dave Bensman with Bensman Home Computer Repair and today I'd like to talk about what to do if your computer is having some sort of hardware problem. Uh, if you think your computer is having a hardware problem, uh, what you may want to do after checking the inside of the computer to make sure that, for instance, all of the uh, cables are properly connected uh, and, you know, nothing's on fire or anything, uh, if everything looks normal, then what you may want to do is run a hardware diagnostic. And the way you do that on most major manufacturers' computers is you go to the boot menu. So if you're running like a Dell, you're running an HP, there's a real good chance that these computers have a hardware diagnostic on them. And the way you access it is by putting your finger over the F12 key. And as soon as you turn the computer on, uh, first of all, you want to turn the computer all the way off have all the lights off, have it sitting there for about 15 seconds and then you put your finger over the F12 button and you turn the computer on and then as soon as you turn it on you want to rapidly tap the F12 key and the reason you want to do this is the uh, window for accessing the boot menu is very short on uh, Windows 10 machines so as you can see it came up there and uh, about the one, two, three, fourth selection down is diagnostics so I'm going to use my arrow key, my down arrow key, to highlight diagnostics. And then I'm going to hit the enter key on the keyboard. And that's going to take me to the uh, hardware diagnostics. Uh, Dell calls it the EPSA, Preboot System Assessment. But that's what it is. And you can see uh, that right now it's already done a cable assessment to make sure everything's properly connected and right now what it's doing is uh, it's checking the hard drive and it's checking the CD-ROM drive to make sure that uh, those are okay. Now it, it doesn't go through each one of these tests uh, one by one. It'll be doing the memory test and the hard drive test while it's checking everything else because those, uh, those tests take the longest to do. So as you can see, it's uh, signed off on the CD-ROM drive, uh, the OS boot path zero, the USB devices, the video card, the CPU fan, and the chassis motherboard fan. Uh, and right now it's checking the, it's still checking the hard drive, and it's checking the processor. Uh, and the processor generally does not take very long. And uh, then it will move on. When that's finished, it'll move on to the uh, system management. And then finally, the memory. The memory and the hard drive, like I said, they, they take the longest. Now, a couple things uh, to note. Uh, you want to have a wired keyboard when you try to do this. Because a lot of times, a wireless keyboard will not communicate. Uh, there it goes. So now it's testing the, uh, the hard drive and the memory. Uh, a wireless keyboard will sometimes not communicate uh, with a computer if it's not in Windows. Um, and you also want to have a wired mouse. Uh, although the mouse really isn't uh, important for this. In general, I recommend wired mice. But as you can see, I'm moving the mouse and nothing's happening because the computer's locked down while it's running this diagnostic. Uh, and this will take mm, 10 minutes. 15 minutes, something like that. Now, this diagnostic is not testing the entire hard drive. Uh, it's only testing uh, just like the, the boot menu, um, and it's probably doing like a spot check on the sectors. But uh, you're, if you do this test and it comes back saying that everything's okay, that does not necessarily mean your hard drive is fine. It could mean that uh, your hard drive just simply has an error that the test hasn't found. But after this test is finished, it will generally ask you to do a more extensive test. And when you do that more extensive test that can take two or three hours, that's what's generally going to tell you whether you have a problem with your hard drive. Uh, for sure, like it definitively tell you. Uh, because if that test comes back okay, it's unlikely your hard drive has a problem, and your problem is mainly the operating system. If the extensive uh, hard drive test comes back, you know, with an error, you know, that's, you've got a bad hard drive. So, uh, we're just going to sit here and let this go, and I'm probably going to fast forward through this, uh, and, uh, 
show you what it looks like at the end. But we're going to watch this for like a couple more minutes and then I'm going to fast forward to the end of it and you can uh, see what that looks like. So as you can see, it's running through the various uh, blocks of memory uh, trying to find errors in the memory because, you know, if your computer is having trouble booting up or it's crashing a lot, you know, that can be a memory issue. Now, if at any point in time you um, you know for some reason you need to stop this test uh, you can just hit the escape key on your keyboard it's in the upper left hand corner of course you can uh, you can see uh, right around here uh, you get vital information about your uh, computer's current health you get the uh, heat of the uh, chipset uh, and the uh, CPU um, you get the motherboard, uh, fan, RPM, uh, things like that. So that, that's a good indicator. Like if you're having, uh, if you think you might be having heating issues, uh, and you're seeing your chipset, like right now my chipset's at 38 degrees, uh, Celsius. Uh, so if you, um, uh, see it, you know, a lot higher than that then uh, that's a big red flag. Alright, it's ending, uh, it's coming near the end of uh, one of the memory tests. And... It's almost there. And now it's at 100%. So you can see that all of the tests are now done. And if you notice right here, it, as soon as it finishes all the tests, if it finish, finishes all the tests and you get a green light, then it's going to give you this message. No problems have been found with the system so far. Do you want to run the remaining memory tests? This will take about 30 minutes or more. Do you want to continue? Uh, and then you can say yes or no. And if you say yes, it's going to look like this. And it's basically going to take a very long time. You know, you're talking about two, three hours, something like that. Uh, now the test will be dip Like right here, it's just running memory tests. Um, depending on your manufacturer, it'll run memory, additional memory tests, or it'll run additional hard drive tests. Uh, you can also, if your computer is booting into Windows, you can try running uh, C, something like Seagate C Tools, which I've covered in another video. Uh, but that is how you do a, uh, a diagnostic, a hardware diagnostic, if you have a major manufacturer's computer. And you can look in your documentation, and it'll tell you whether you have access to something like that. Um, there are third-party things you can download if you don't. But the reason why it's better to run something like this is you're not running it in Windows so you're not depending on uh, Windows working properly to give you a good objective reading. Uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope people like the video. If so, please like and share it and please subscribe to my channel. If you're in the Memphis, Bartlett, Midtown, Germantown, Collierville area and you need computer repair, please feel free to call me, Dave Bensman, at Bensman Home Computer Repair at 901-830-4362. Thank you very much, and have, as always, stay safe.